Today, Gatsby and I will be taste testing exotic fruit from around the world. Let's roll that footage. Do you like Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez? I'm so sick of that same old love. You don't love her like a love song? <laughs> Who says you don't like Selena? When you're ready, come and get it. Na 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 na. She just wants to look good for you. <laughs> I can't keep my hands to myself. Gatsby's gotta keep an eye out for Selena. We are going to be doing a taste test on all these exotic fruits that we have. I did pick up a few last night. Pepino melons. They have cherimoyas here. Kiwano melons. Ow. But we need to get a few more at the Asian market, so let's go there right now. See you later. I am supermarket. I picked up a durian and a rambutan. I want a boba. It's a durian. Does it smell like garbage? Would you like to try it out, Gatsby? You ready to try some fruit? Here are the exotic fruits we are going to try today. Kiwano melon, dragon fruit, cherimoya, pepino melon, rambutan, and durian. Right now we're gonna try everything except for the durian because as you can see it is still a little bit frozen. The dragon fruit is a fruit from Vietnam. This is the only one that I've actually had. Let's check out what it looks like inside. Ooh, look at that. You just take the corner and peel it off. Kind of looks like a white kiwi. It has like a very, very light smell. Kind of tastes like a really watery kiwi. Would you like some? Dragon fruit is not my favorite. I know a lot of people love it. I would give it about a 7.5 out of 10. So let's try these rambutan. These are very common in Southeast Asia. They look kind of like lychees, or as some people in America call lychees or lychees, but apparently this was a taste totally different. There we go. It is kind of like a lychee, lychee. What do you think, Gatsby? Is that good? He doesn't like it that much, you can tell. It has more of like a cucumber-ish flavor than lychees do, but it's still like super fleshy, soft, an eight out of 10. I think Gatsby decided he likes it too. <laughs> Cherimoya is from South America. It's apparently supposed to be like a mixture of a lot of different fruits. It's supposed to taste like juicy fruit and gum. It's only in season one month out of the year. It's also the most expensive fruit per pound. Check it out. Trying a cherimoya together for the first time. It looks kind of creamy, custardy. Hmm. It kind of tastes like banana. It doesn't taste like juicy fruit to me at all. It tastes pretty good. It's super sweet though. Would you like one? It's like, what is that? <laughs> that tastes good. It tastes like candy, like a banana plantain candy. I give that like. An 8.5 out of 10. Next, let's try this Kiwano melon. Kiwano melons are from Africa. Check it out. To me, this looks so weird. It looks like some kind of alien that you cut open. So this one, I'm not gonna give to Gatsby just because I couldn't find anything online that said it was safe for dog seed. It looks like something from like Fruit Ninja. It doesn't have a smell. So it's kind of like gelatin, like aloe, but sour. It's not bad. I feel like I'm carving into an alien and like pulling out the guts. If you took like regular jello and squeezed like a lemon on it, it kind of tastes like that. But like slight grass undertones. I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. Next, let's try this pepino melon. Pepino melons are found in South America. 
This one looks kind of gross. Apparently the seeds are edible. You can try this one out. It's supposed to be sweet, but I also hear from other people that it just tastes like nothing. It smells like a cucumber. People put this on salads apparently. And it's supposed to be not a melon, but more like a tomato. Gatsby is also not gonna eat this one because I couldn't find anything saying that it was okay for dogs to eat. So let's try it. Immediately I taste blue cheese, like juicy blue cheese. Oh, oh, it's strong. If you're allergic to cheese, you can eat this. Ah! <laughs> I would give it like a 6 out of 10. Oh my gosh. For taste, sweet, sweet, very lightly sweet, sour, blue cheesy. Thanks for helping me taste test, Gatsby. I bet you're gonna love the durian just because it smells so bad. Make sure to stay tuned to the rest of the vlog to see us try this out once it thaws out. We are gonna be heading off to the YouTube offices right now to have lunch. And Gatsby's coming along too. You ready? YouTube land, this is the main building. Ready? Back in the office here. We've got Gatsby, a name tag. Almost looks like it says Ryan. There's like a barista here. Micro kitchen. Oh, he's go, fast. Go. <laughs> or he's always look a little chunky, but he's actually oh, yeah. super fast. Smoothie bar here. There's a Wii U. Do you want one of these for your house? at YouTube. Oh, that's the slide. Had a good lunch. Got to slide down the slide for the first time ever. They usually don't let any guests slide on the slide. Did you have a good time? Everyone loved you, Gatsby. Before it gets too late, we're gonna head off to the gym and then we'll try out this durian. Still defrosting. Gonna hit some legs. Get my shoes on. Good dog. Oh, so handsome, Gatsby. See you later. Now time to try out what I've been dreading. Not gonna lie, a little bit afraid. For those of you who don't know, durian comes from Thailand. It is known as the king of the fruits. It is like every single flavor combined into one fruit. When you open it, oh my gosh, it smells bad. It kind of smells like a used diaper that has been left out inside of a rotting fish store <laughs> in the sun. That's what it smells like. And pineapple. This is supposed to taste like custard. Gatsby's licking his lips. Let me try it first. Stop it, Gatsby, stop it. I'm scared. Wait your turn. It just tastes like a thousand different flavors in one. Okay, it's not it's not terrible, but uh, now it tastes like papaya and green onions. Are you ready to try it, Gatsby? Oh. He likes it. I think Gatsby would give this a 10 out of 10. Gatsby's favorite, he's like, mmm. It tastes kind of like green onions, papaya, and avocado to me. I'd give it like a six. I can understand, it's super polarizing. It kind of leaves like an onion garlic flavor in my mouth. Ugh. Please, sir, I'd like some more. I need to wash it out with something. Frozen lemonade. And update on my aquarium, check out this footage that I filmed last night. Hello! So today I'm going to try and catch the crab. I went to the supermarket and got some raw shrimp this time. The crabs only come out at night. We're just going to use like a bottle like this, stick a part of a shrimp inside the bottom and lean it against something. So when the crab climbs up and goes inside, he won't be able to get out. And for those of you who don't know, we're doing this because we have a gorilla crab in the tank. He ate all the fish and he was killing a lot of the coral too. All the other fish are sleeping. As you can see, Katniss is sleeping there. We'll see you in the morning. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's no crab. But other than that, the tank is nice and lively. I don't want to add anything new until we get this crab out though. Would you like to go to the Baylands, Gatsby? Baylands? I've never been there before. Yeah? You wanna go to the bay? 
That means that we're going somewhere special, huh? We haven't gone on a hike for a few weeks, so I thought we would go. Gatsby's all excited and happy. By the way, if you were wondering, a lot of people were asking, where is Gatsby's car seat from? It is from Snoozer Pet Products. They provide almost all of Gatsby's beds in the apartment as well. Yeah, do you like that car seat? He loves it. We made it, Gatsby. Look at all the ducks. <laughs> There aren't that many Pokemon out here, even though you would expect that this place would be crawling with Pokemon. That guy is playing Pokemon Go. Oh, another egg. Hatch him. Just hatch the shelter. Just keep walking, 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 walking. Are we gonna find the Corgisaurus Rex here, Gatsby? Corgi Road, take me home to the place Corgi's from. It's a dam! We're walking on the dam! Gets me? Look at all those Pokemon waiting. Got to see the actual bay from the San Francisco Bay, and now we're headed back home. Squirtle, Bulbasaur! Pidgey! to get all the way to the building. We need to cross all the way around. I wish we could just jump, like, wow. We made it, back to the duck pond. I'm running off to go to the supermarket just to grab some ground beef because I'm gonna make some spaghetti with meat sauce. I wait for this to heat up, it's gonna be a while. Let's clean my shoes. Look at these, they got so dirty from the hike. Let's use some sneaker cleaner on them. Put them down. Oh, that looks a little better. Gotta get back to cooking. I have rosemary, let's use that. Some black pepper. I can do some oregano. Sure, why not? Set our noodles. Okay, this is pretty much done, so we're gonna reduce the heat. Add our sauce, tomato basil sauce. You're basically just heating things up. Beautiful noodles. Some for now, some for later. Let's add some Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Dinner time. So it's less of a matter of carelessness and more just like this is super versatile, small, light, mm. easy to use, but it like does have a tendency to tip over. Ta-da! All clean. Arnie's parents want the durian, so I was like, good. Stuck the durian inside of a paper bag. Here you go. Hey! Thank you. <laughs> Now Sean's coming over and we're gonna be playing some Pokemon. Yeah. Who do you think's gonna win? Place your bets now. Chandelure versus Charizard. Go Chandelure, go! Oh, what the heck? Yeah! Jump, attack, attack! No! No! What is that called? Side talk, side talk. Remember when you did it in the anime versus Nightmare? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that supposed to be Loki? <laughs> I don't know what any of these. I'm just pressing buttons. No! Come on! Go, go, go! Use your fire attacks. 
Yeah! Come on! Die! I can't even touch you this round! Die! Come on! Die. Yes! Yes! Chandelure, good job! The final battle. Go, Chandelure! Go! 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 What am I? Come go, on! Go, Chandelure! Like, like against my wall. No! What happened? Yes! Yes! I'm like dead! Okay. Go! Oh, no! Go! 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 Attack! No, you blocked it! I'm dead. Yes. No! Yes. No! Okay. No! 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 Yes! Down to the last bit of life, too. Wow, you're so good Mega at this game, Charizard <laughs> X. I'm a Pokemon master. I guess so. For those of you wondering why Gatsby is inside of the cone, he's been having some really bad allergies and was licking off all his fur. He stopped itching, but his skin is still very red. <laughs> Selena Gomez? It's not time to play Gatsby, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to catch it, Gatsby. It's not gonna work. See? It doesn't work. One time, here it goes. Good job. So saying, we are going to go to bed because it's super late, Gatsby. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Good night. Good night. Starving, going to get some in and out burger. Let's go. I love it. I like the onion too. A lot of people hate that, but I like it. And they give you the salt separately so you can salt it as much as you want.